folks welcome this is a i guess tech based video so coming up are going to be some tips on how to flash the bios how to prepare your pc some tips and tricks along the way so how do you update your bios this was a bit worrying for me i've never done this before i've heard that you can brick your motherboard everything can go wrong i wasn't sure that my processor was going to work with the bios because there's been a ton of issues for the 5000 series with x570 boards b550 boards just because it's a brand new processor launch there's going to be issues so the first thing is the reason i'm flashing the bios is because i need to personally i wouldn't update my bios unless there was a problem i'm kind of one of those people where i'm like if it ain't broke don't fix it so now that my bios is done i probably won't be updating it until many many months where there's a lot more stable releases and there's been some stuff introduced that i need so i'll update the bios again when i need to but at the moment it's fine so i'll leave it step one is to get a usb 2.0 stick now the way you can tell it's a 2.0 stick is if you look inside you probably won't be able to see because it won't focus but if you look inside there are four sticks you'll know what i mean when you look inside it when you get a usb 3.01 this one is a nice sand disc one i purchased this specifically for the job it has a blue end and it has five little gold things inside it obviously bios flashing has a tiny file and that file doesn't need to be on a massive pen drive tip one usb 2.0 16 gig or less get a usb 2.0 to put your bios file on and then I have a secondary one, which is a USB 3.0, 16 gigabyte, to put Windows on, which is much faster. It doesn't really matter, you can reuse the same one, but just for ease of mind, I was like, this is my BIOS one, this is my Windows one, so I didn't get confused. Okay, so the next step is to obviously go ahead and download the file. So you're just going to type in the name of your motherboard. So mine is an MSI X570 Tomahawk Wi-Fi you're going to go here and you can see that it's from msi.com so it's the official one you're going to go to that page and then you're going to be greeted with a bunch of information about your motherboard this is where you can find like pictures information specifications if you've lost your manual or something you're going to go over here to support so once you click support you're going to see this open up here there are utility softwares you can download there's your manual there are some drivers that you can download and there are some BIOSes. So you're going to see all of these. So for me, I needed to update to a version that would allow my 5000 chip to work. After a little bit of research, it's basically when this AGESA was enabled. It was a little bit confusing because it's an American date, which is slightly backwards. I was like 11th of the 4th, 9th of the 7th, but this is the month here. Um, so you have a beta version. And you have, obviously, if it's not beta, it simply won't say beta. You can see the difference here. It says brackets beta. This one doesn't. Now, this one, you can see the beta version does support smart access memory. Now, this is probably one that I should have updated to, theoretically. But it is a beta. Things can go wrong. So, once you've selected your BIOS now for the 5000 series, I selected this V14. Um, this was the most stable recent one you can click this download button and then you can save it this zip file to wherever you want to save it to your desktop wherever when you are greeted with this file you're going to see a double click it and it's going to open it up and you're going to see inside there's a couple a couple files here which is great it's in there there's a text file which basically just explains fixes some problems this is the date of it okay sweet so this is the file that you're going to need this e7c 140 file now if you go to view and you enable here file name extensions you can see effectively what it is so you can see it's a dot text file now what you can do is you can just go back to the original file where it is right click extract all and then just zip it to the desktop or wherever it's going and it's going to open up okay so now you've got your file here it is you're going to open it up and you're going to go to this one that isn't the text document you're going to go to this 140 file and you're just going to rename this in capitals msi.rom msi.rom and you're going to hit enter and it's going to say you're going to change this file name and it might become unusable are you sure yes now you can see it's a rom file and excellent that's something we can use is you want to go to your pen drive and you want to right click 
make sure you make sure you click in your pen drive not your c drive or your storage you don't want to format your hard drive and lose everything make sure it's your pen drive right click format and it's going to come with this and it's going to say okay what do you want to do you're going to format it to a fat 32 file and the allocation unit size you can just leave it on default it's formatted you can check it's worked by again going back to format and going yep this is what it's changed it to so now you're going to go to your desktop you're going to find that file and you're going to find the msi.rom you're going to copy it going to go into your pen drive and you're going to paste it in so you'll just have a formatted pen drive with the only file on it that is an msi.rom file so to flash the BIOS, you'll probably be seeing a few videos on screen or a little bit of bits and bobs. You're basically going to build it up in the most minimal way possible. So I built it on top of my motherboard box. I got my power supply and my motherboard. And that's it. That's all you need. Your power supply, your motherboard, and your trusty pen stick. You're going to put the motherboard on top of your box. You're going to put the 24 pin into the power supply you're going to put that other pin into the motherboard you're going to get the cable that says psu on it plug it into your ndv power supply then you're going to get the little cpu and you're going to plug it into that top left area where your cpu power is and then you're going to get your plug and you're going to plug it in to your outlet and you're going to think oh my god it's actually happening i'm going to flash my bios is everything going to go wrong okay you're going to then find the area located on your motherboard that has a sort of highlighted square around it that says bios flash and that's why you put this pen drive your 2.0 rom file you're going to put it in there you're going to be like okay i'm doing it flick the switch on the end of your power supply make sure your plugs plugged in turned on make sure everything's clicked in nicely and then you're going to look for that little button on the side that says bios flash and i got a little screwdriver and just pushed it um and i touched it just gently and this thing lit up red and i was like okay that's it once it lights up red you're you're off you, you you're going there'll be a little white light on my board that was flashing and the chipset fan the little tiny chipset fan for the x570 board span up um this was blinking away the little board was blinking going and i just left it for five five odd minutes i was like okay what's it doing it then you'll be pay attention don't leave the room pay attention stay with it there'll be like a moment where it switches off for like feels like two seconds and then it it whizzes back up again and then it's just there your thing is plugged in it's no longer flashing the board's not really flashing but it's still spinning round and you're like is it done what I did is I patiently waited five more minutes because I'd rather not mess it up. And I just checked for five minutes. Now, there's absolutely no more flashing. There's nothing going on. And then I was like, okay. And I just pressed the off switch on the end of my power supply and then unplugged it. And then I was ready to build. And that's how you flash your BIOS. So um, it was a very simple process in the end, but it is a bit nerve wracking, I will admit. Obviously, you know, I'm not... I'm not lying as tech tips these things cost a lot of money which we don't have a lot of so i was very nervous to not break something or brick something because then you've got to send it back and then what do you say so just follow all of the steps um ask away in the comments um and then you can begin to build um you can begin to build your pc up which will be probably in another video because this is slightly long wish you good luck with flashing your bios and may the PC gods be with you. Um, let me know how it goes. So thanks for watching that video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, a comment, a subscribe and ring that bell. Turn all those notifications on. Probably going to be bringing a few PC videos as I'm just setting it all up. Um, building it, testing it, that sort of good stuff. Um, so wish me luck. Hopefully mine goes well. So I wish you all good luck with your PC builds. Peace.